This is the Bose Soundbar 900, and I've had this over the past year, and I've really enjoyed using it. There is a lot of great features to it, and the build quality is great, and it sounds absolutely amazing. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my experience using it over the past year, and what great features it has. So let's get into it. First off, it is really amazing how much Bose has been able to fit in a package this small. It really is astounding. This soundbar supports Dolby Atmos and has an eARC port for that. So it can support up to 7.1 surround. How this works is there is a center channel for the audio for vocals and stuff like that. And then there are the left and right side channels as well as side and side channels and top channels as well. So basically how this works is this uses an adaptive EQ and settings and basically can scan the room that you're in. How it accomplishes that is you can put this headband on that Bose provided in the box and sit where you normally sit to watch movies. And what the soundbar does is plays a sound in the room and can map out what it needs to do to make the sound immersive for that seat. You can set up multiple seats and once you've done that, it really is quite immersive considering that it's just one soundbar. So you don't necessarily need to get extra speakers in the back or subwoofer if you wanna have an immersive experience. Now, as far as the base goes, there are two subwoofers, one on each side, and it is quite incredible how good they are. Now, they are not as powerful as a standalone sub, but for an all-in-one solution, you can definitely feel it. And that's good considering that, again, it's just one bar. Now, if you want to get a subwoofer, I would highly recommend getting a dedicated subwoofer as that will be more powerful than this. But for an all-in-one solution, this is great. Now, there are a lot of smart features that the soundbar has. Personally, I like to use AirPlay 2, so you can just AirPlay music from your phone or Apple device of any kind. It will connect and you can pair it with other AirPlay devices. So for example, I usually do that with the soundbar and several HomePods in the house to sync music through every room to have it consistent everywhere I go. That's really cool. Now, if you aren't into the HomeKit ecosystem, this also supports Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant with its built-in microphones. You can connect it either wirelessly with Wi-Fi or with a built-in network jack in the back if you want to. Now, as far as build quality goes, it's pretty great. The top is a tempered glass finish, really easy to clean, you can just dust it. And then the front and the sides and the back is just a metal grate, the same one that Bose uses on all their other soundbars. So it's very easy to clean and looks great. Now, as far as audio quality goes, the mids and highs are very clean and the bass is very punchy. Now, it isn't as good as a dedicated subwoofer, but considering the size and the price, that's totally acceptable. I think this is probably one of the better sounding soundbars available. So it's fantastic that way. It's usually sold for around $900, but it is currently on sale if you want to pick it up yourself. It also comes with some accessories, including an optical cable, HDMI cable, and a remote. In everyday use, the soundbar is super easy to use. For example, on our setup with a Samsung Smart TV and an Apple TV, all I have to do is turn on the Apple TV and everything else will turn on. Because it has ER, it can connect with the TV itself or a receiver if you have one, and it just communicates and just turns on when you turn on your TV and off when you turn off your TV. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any further questions about this soundbar or any of the other equipment that I use, please leave it in the comments below and I will answer your question. If you wanna become a Patreon supporter, there's a link in the description below to that as well. And if you could please consider subscribing, that would help me out a lot. Well, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.